I want to thank Frugal RV Gal for doing this class on cast iron 101. 101. All right. I'll do the dishes. It's like, nope, nobody <laughs> touches my cast iron. <laughs> She's like, nope, I will do it. So this is what I carry with me, and I just wanted to kind of go over a few things. And then if we have any questions, if you want to look at it. But this is what I use all the time in, in my cast iron cooking. <coughs> um, this is a Dutch oven. This is a 10-inch Dutch oven. Um, this one... I use it all the time, and yes, I have abused this one. And if you will want to later on, notice it's rusted on the bottom. But I did get it rusted one time, left it out in the rain, mm -hmm. and it pitted it. So this this is what you not do with cast iron. So, but I still use it. It still works really well, and I do all my Dutch oven cooking in this one. Now, I use, I found this, this is a product. Why is a paper towel in there? Like that. Why is a paper towel in there? <laughs> so you don't want your worst enemy, like I've already said, for cast iron is rust. So you want to make sure when you wash it, clean it, that you dry it really well. And I put all my cast iron on a hot stove, bring it up to almost smoking. Then I oil it down. And when I first started doing this, I was using olive oil, and it I find that it cakes. And so I switched to coconut oil, and you just want to put a light coat of coconut oil or walnut oil or something like that. Um, over time, if you don't put the paper towels in it and put one on the sides, you can capture moisture in there, traveling down the road, going to Washington. <laughs> so this helps leave the lid cracked a little bit so it will evaporate if you do get any moisture and then the paper towel inside will also uh, collect water. So have you ever heard of a sliced bread? Do you have a piece of sliced bread in your cooker? I have cooked bread in mine. Oh, so Oh, water. no, Usually crackers or yeah, bread, bread or something like that. And when we were at Lollapalooza, they talked about these. So I I'm I'm throw all these little yeah, silicone dish in there, too. So. <laughs> I've got yeah, I've got a lot. Um, I picked this up. It's a set from Camp Made. Camp Made makes Dutch oven and accessories. And this one uh, I picked up at Academy as an open box. 
What's missing is the apparel that goes with this, but um, I use this all the time. So I put my charcoal on the bottom here, and I'll just put it there, put the charcoal on it, and then I put my Dutch oven on it. And then you gotta look at your stuff that you're cooking. These are all lid lifters. This is a fancy lid lifter. Ooh, lifts the lid. It also allows you to set your lid down, not in the dirt. Because these two, you have to figure out what you're going to do with your lid. That's how you. But I got to sit, sit it down somewhere to stir or something. So I also use this for that. And this is also a lid lifter. A pair of pliers works good. Oh, I didn't bring my glove, a welding glove. And that's a lid holder too, that one. Yes. You, you open it up, put it down. Yes. That, you put your that's lid true. on that. So if you have that and this, you can use that as a lid holder. Oh, and then you can stir. So if you don't have that base thing that you put your coals on, where do you put your coals? Well, you can, in these fire pits, you can build a fire in the fire pit. Some people will just do it down on the ground. Sure. I don't like to leave my coals or my ash laying there. So after I finish wherever I'm going to cook, I put the ashes in the fire pit. And I have a Dollar Tree $1 pizza pipe yes. pan. That's what I built. That's what I, I built. I asked because I saw you had that, but I couldn't find a Dollar Tree one, so oh. I've got a Walmart $2. Because <laughs> I can't find what Frugal has. Yeah. Frugal, sometimes the lids like those, because that has a lip on it, so you can put your coals on there. I've noticed in the stores lately, Bodge, isn't that what you guys normally use? They're just rounded. It's like you can't That's put stuff on there. So how do you, how do you put with coals with that top lid. Don't buy that. Yeah, yeah. it's not made for it. Well, let me, That's let me say oven. this. When you do cook on in a Dutch oven, you can cook anything in that that you can cook in a regular oven. So breads, cakes, stews, ca casseroles, anything. Roasted chicken. Yeah, chicken. I've cooked brisket. Yeah, brisket. I've cooked brisket, roast. You forgot a piece. Piece. Yeah. Your uh, charcoal chimney. Um, yeah, I did slide. So, you talk. You could mention the charcoal. Yeah. So Jenna, so you put coals. Oh, sorry, I'm a little late. You put coals on the bottom, and then you put coals on the top, right. and that creates like an oven. Yes. So you can get the an app, and I'm going to tell you, you can get the Dutch oven app, whatever phone, just Google or on the Play Store or Apple Store or whatever. If you buy a Lodge Dutch oven, most of the time you will get a, do a Lodge book. And in here, it talks about the temperatures. It's very important that you follow this, and if you're following a recipe and it says cook for 20 minutes at 350, cook it at 350. Well, wh what is 350? So I have a 10 inch du Dutch oven, and 350 says you need 21 coals. So, and it can be wood. Your coals, you know, just make up chunks of wood from a fire. Um, 14 on top, and 7 on bottom. Wow, two thirds on top, one third on the bottom. Yeah. So whatever so, temperature you want. 7 on the bottom, and I spread mine out all around the outer side. And then maybe two there. And then I'm going to put the 14 on top. And then that creates the oven. That's where you won't burn your bread, burn your cake. I've got a playlist on my channel called Dutch uh, Cast Iron Wednesday, and you can see me do a cake, um, cornbreads. So how far down do you let the coals burn before you start cooking, or you just do it at the same time? Like you would when they get start turning white. Okay. And like you're going like to barbecue. barbecue. Right. <clears throat> and sometimes, like I cooked a brisket, and I cooked it five, six, seven hours. So I had to keep building my coals okay. and then adding two. And I actually did a double, double duck. <laughs> I can't 
show you what this one because it doesn't have legs. Yeah, it doesn't have legs. Um, to answer the question about the, that's why you want a lid that has the ring around it so you can put the coals on top. The other ones are mostly for soups and stews. You're not baking, so you're just going to stir it. You're going to get your bottom hot. You're hanging on those tripods. Yes, you can hang it on a tripod. You can hang these too. Uh -huh. Does the lid on your Dutch oven, does it have dimples on the inside? On the inside? No, smooth. If you take your decrypt that you have under there, there's the stand. Yeah. Flip it upside down, set that upside down on top of it, and use it as a griddle for your pancakes. I have on my channel, you'll see me cook pancakes on my yeah. lid. <laughs> <laughs> so you can do it. When I was just at the live store in Tennessee, well, there's a couple, they have a whole rack of lids with the rim that you can find to fix your little Dutch ovens that doesn't have the lid with the rim. Okay, cool. And that's what I did for the little ones because they weren't making the two cords yeah. right now at the factory with the legs. Right. So I just bought the regular two quart and I found a lid that would fit. Now if you do have a Dutch oven with the lid that's rounded and doesn't have that, you can wrap up some foil in a ring, lay it on top of the lid, and then you can put your coals on there. Thank you for answering my question. <laughs> the rough is the Ozark. To my, yeah. From what I've seen, the rough is the Ozark and the smooth is the Lodge. I wouldn't buy the Ozark. I, 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 was, I, I love smooth. to shop. Yeah, smooth. smooth. I do smooth. Okay. That other one, I'm like, I ain't picking that. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, no. I like to go hunt for my cast iron. So go to thrift stores and. Okay. And bring one back to life. It's 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 fun to bring one and back to antique molds. Have yeah. a lot of cast okay. iron. Just watch the prices because you can get some junk ones and they they jack up the prices. How do you usually season your? How do you salt? Well, you can do you can salt and bring it down to like this one. This one was so bad. I. You can salt sandblast. <coughs> Since we don't have sandblasting, salt works really well. This one I ended up having to take a wire brush and just, I had a wire wheel on my drill. And I took it back down. I took it way back down to the metal. And then I re it. This one I damaged really bad. But, um, so sometimes the wind's blowing. <laughs> And your charcoal will go out pretty fast and burn fast, so you can put a little uh -huh. thing around your Dutch oven so your coals stay warm. Where do you get that? Amazon. And I'll tell you the brand. She has a wonderful store um, on Amazon that shows all of her items that she uses. pastries, anything like that. You want to use some type of parchment so it doesn't stick and it also removes it from the pan real easy. Walmart um, carries those. They're very expensive, so yeah. parchment paper, just buy parchment paper and use that. Maybe she, maybe she but um, you can buy these and they're like $8 for eight. But if you do get one of these, you're going to realize that these fit all different kinds of Dutch ovens. So how do you know which one? So what you want to do is you want to put the point in the middle of the Dutch oven, cut all this excess off. So you'll just cut it right there and it'll fit your Dutch oven. You just cover the bottom. Just the bottom you cover. Yeah. So From no the center. Cleanup. <laughs> no cleanup. Stanley, uh, Stanley I go up the side. If I'm making a cherry pie, I'll okay. take it up the side. Yeah. Yeah. So you just want the point in the center and come up. That way your lid closes and everything. If your cherry pie, can you pull it out? Put that? I think Now clean it. Clean, clean it. it. Yeah. That's one of the... So a lot of people say no soap. I use soap on mine. Um, and you can even go to the lodge 
uh, website. They say, you know, nowadays the detergents that we use is safe for the cast iron. Back in the day, there's hi. Back in the day when they had lime and the soap, that would be damaging to your cast iron. So you can. A lot of people don't. They say, oh, never use soap on your cast iron. I do it all the time. Um, so I use soap and water. What do you use a scrubby pad? Or yeah, if I need steel it. Steel wool or what? I just use one of those little green, green. scouring pads or whatever. Did you give the name of the app for the recipes? The one I have is Easy Dutch Oven Cooking or something. But I don't know on the, the iPhone what it is. But. So y'all be sure and subscribe to her channel for the Cast Iron Wednesdays. And she has stickers here today, hey, stickers. too. Anybody want a sticker? Hey, mm -hmm. Dutch Oven Helper. Dutch, Dutch Oven Helper. That's one the couple okay. had a little boost tools. Okay.